maximum flow technique. Okay, before this, in shortest route and minimum spanning tree, uh, we are dealing uh, for shortest route, for example, we are dealing with how to uh, find the minimum value from the origin to destination. Okay, for minimum spanning tree, we want to find the minimum value when connecting all the nodes. Now, before this, um, in minimum spanning tree and also in shortest route, there is no um, limited capacity for the flow of the item. Okay, but if let's say uh, we have a, a, cap a limited capacity for the flow of the item, so in that case we have to use the maximum flow techniques. Because for example, sometimes you have in one network, um, maybe the capacity from node one to node two is one thousand. From node 2 to node 3 is 5,000, for example. So, in, the, in this case, the capacity is not the same. Okay, so we cannot uh, use um, the same value okay, for each of these nodes. Okay, so basically, in that case, we have to use maximum flow technique. Okay, so maximum flow technique, uh, we want to find the amount of flow from origin to destination. So, basically, we want to find the most item that we can flow through the network and it involves okay, the, the example basically it can involve the flow of water the gas or oil uh, the flow of uh, traffic okay through a road network the flow of products through the production line system okay there are four steps uh, in solving this maximum flow technique the first one you have to select any path in the network from origin to destination okay so we have to select any path from starting from the origin to the destination then second step you have to adjust the capacity at each node by subtracting the maximum flow selected in step one okay uh, and then after that you have to add the maximum flow along the path in the opposite direction okay so basically first you have to subtract the maximum flow from that selected path and then you have to subtract the maximum flow from the opposite direction okay and then uh, you have to repeat all these three steps until there are no more paths available now let's look at this example okay you are given a network okay of a rail system between omaha and sandwich so now omaha is our origin and sandwich is our destination okay so this company ship tractor parts from Omaha to St. Louis by railroad. However, a contract limits the number of railroad cars that company can secure on each branch, branch during a week. Okay, so because we have this limiting uh, condition, okay, now the company wants to know the maximum number of railroad cars that can be shipped from Omaha to St. Louis. Okay, so this is our network. And the input here is our origin, which is Omaha. And the output here is our destination, which is San Luis. Okay, so now our aim is to find uh, the maximum amount that we can uh, ship from Omaha to San Luis. Okay, so back to our steps. Okay. So the first step, you have to select any path in network from origin to destination. So basically, you have to start from node number one, which is our origin, and we want to go to sandwich, which is our destination. So here, um, let's say I choose from one, I go to node two, and then go to node five, and then finally go to node six. Okay, from one, I go to node two. And then go to node 5 and then go to node 6. So this is my selected path. Okay, so now in order to find the maximum flow of item that can be shipped to this path, you have to compare all this value. Okay, or before that. Okay, so 6 here is the capacity from node 1 to node number 2. And 0 here is the capacity from node 2 to node number 1. So basically, it is the opposite direction. Okay. So 8 here 
is the capacity from node 2 to node 5. And 0 here is the capacity from node 5 to node 2. Okay, so now in order to know the maximum amount that you can flow for this selected path is you have to compare and find the minimum value. So compare between 6, 8 and 4. So in this case, 4 is the minimum value. Okay, so say here, okay, if we go through path 1, 2, 5 and 6, okay, the maximum value is 4. So the adjustment that you should do here is from 6, okay, original capacity is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, and then for the opposite direction, 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, from node 2 to node 5, originally you have 8. Okay, the capacity is 8. Now, 8 minus 4 is 4. Then, for the opposite direction, 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, so same goes here for the node 5 to 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Remember, uh, first you have to minus, okay, in this case 6 minus 4. Okay, and then you have to, for the opposite direction, is 0 plus 4. Now, after the first iteration, you can see that node 5 to node 6, the capacity now is already 0. Means there is no capacity, uh, there's no more capacity from node 5 to node 6. So basically, we can cancel this route. Okay, means that there is no more flow from node 5 to node 6. For node 1 to node 2, yes, we still can have a the, uh, another 2 from node 2 to node 5 another 4 ok ok so now we can select another path remember that path must be started from the origin and end up at our destination so in this case let's say I choose 1 4 and 6 ok so 1 4 and 6 Okay, so what is the value? So 1 to 4 to 6. So 1 to 4, the value is 4. 4 to 6, the value is 5. So in order to know the maximal amount that you can flow through this path, you have to find the minimum value. So in this case, 4 is the minimum value. So we choose 4. Okay, so now... This one, 4 minus 4 is 0. And 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, remember for the opposite direction, 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, so again you can see here, not 1 to not 4, the capacity is already 0. So in that case, we can cancel out this route. Okay. So that we know that we cannot use this route anymore, okay? Not four, uh, sorry, not one until not four is already fully occupied. So we cannot use that route. Okay, then next, again, select any path that you like. So in this case, I want to select route one to three to six. Okay, so what is the maximum amount? that can flow with, uh, using this path okay so again you have to compare between 7 and 6 okay so 7 and 6 so the minimum value is 6 okay so 7 minus 1 sorry so 7 minus 6 is 1 0 plus 6 is 6 6 minus 6 is 0 and 0 plus 6 is 6 Okay, so now you can see that uh, from node 3 to node 6, the capacity is already 0. So that means we cannot use this route anymore. Okay, so now we can see that from the origin to the destination. Okay, um, so from the origin, node 1 here, okay, we can, uh, 1 to 4 is already blocked. Okay, it's already fully occupied. 
Okay, so you can go to node 1 to 2 or node 1 to 3. And then for the destination here, okay, because we have uh, three branch, okay, in order to go to destination, it's either 5 to 6, 4 to 6 or 3 to 6. But now, at this moment, 5 to 6 and 3 to 6 is already fully occupied. So we can only have another branch which is from node 4 to node 6. But in order to go to node 4, okay, um, we have uh, from the origin, we can go okay, from node 1 to node 2 and then go to node 4. Okay, The other one is from node 1 to node 3 and then go to node 4. Either one. Okay, So it's up to you. So now let's say I choose uh, 1, 2, 4 and 6. Okay, 1, 2, 4 and 6. So from 1 to 2, Okay, now the capacity is 2 and from 2 to 4 the capacity is 3 and from 4 to 6 the capacity is 1. So now you have to compare between 2, 3 and 1. So obviously 1 is the minimum value. So you can put 1 here. Okay, means that if you want to select the path from the 1 to 2 to 4 to 6, the maximum value that you can that can go through is only 1. Okay. So, do the adjustment. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. And then, 3 minus 1 is 2. And 3 plus 1 is 4. And 1 minus 1 is 0. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. So, after the adjustment, so you can see that node 4 to node 6 is, the capacity is 0. So, basically, we cannot use this route anymore. So now we can see that in order to go to the destination, okay, node 5 to 6, node 4 to 6, and node 3 to 6, all are already fully occupied. So in this case, we cannot find any path that is connecting from our origin to our destination anymore because it's already blocked here. Okay, 5 to 6, 4 to 6, and 3 to 6. Okay, so that means we have finished our alteration. Okay, so you can total up the value here is 15. Okay, so based on this network, the maximum value that we can go through, okay, flow that can flow from the origin to our destination is 15. So now it depends on the problem. If let's say um, 6 here um, is 600, means that so in in 100 so basically this one 15 100 okay so it depends on your problem okay so now we want to know uh, we already know the maximum flow from the origin to destination is 15 okay but what is the maximal flow for each node okay means that for example from node 1 to node 2 okay what is the maximum value that we can flow for from these two nodes okay so in order to do that you can have you can see the difference here, okay? So, you can see this is a difference between, okay, the original value is 6, the ending value is 1. So, the difference is 5. So, you can check here, okay, from the opposite direction, the original value is 0 and then the ending value is 5. So, the difference between 0 and 5 is 5. So, the maximum value that we can uh, flow our item from node 1 to node 2 is 5, okay? From node 2 to node 5, Okay, so see the difference between the original value and also the ending value. Okay, original value and the ending value. The value is 4. Okay, from node 5 to node 6. Okay, again, uh, find the difference between original value and the ending value. So this is also 4. Okay, so same goes here. Um, this is the difference between 3 and 2 and the difference between 3 and 4. So, maximum is 1. So, you can do this for every branches. Okay. So, all these you can find but please take note at node 3 to node 4 uh, there is no transaction before. So, basically 0. Okay. So, no transaction means 0. So, basically all these are the maximum flow from first note to the 
second node. Okay, that's how you calculate.